blockchain space. We're going to go through this afternoon looking at the space from both uh, the investors, the collaborators, and the startups. But to begin with, I'm going to spend 20, 25 minutes giving a background um, perspective around this area. And um, some of you may know me, some of you may not know me, so in case you don't know me, I, uh, I'm a very sad person um, in that I've spent the last 10 years every single day writing a blog about technology and financial services called thefinancer.com. I'm very easy to find if you want to email me with any questions because it's chris at thefinancer.com. And because I've blogged every day for 10 years, I've produced quite a lot of books. And the last two books were Digital Bank, about how to change a bank to a digitalized structure, and Value Web, or the Internet of Value, which is the backdrop to the reinvention of value exchange through the Internet that we're seeing being created today by fintech startup companies, and in particular through the mobile network, the Internet, and distributed ledger shared databases, or blockchain, if you prefer. Um, what's fundamentally happening is, if, if I had another sort of hour or two to present, is a revolution in humankind. In that I've got a new book I'm writing at the moment about the fourth age of humanity, or digital human. We haven't quite decided on the title yet. Um, and there's been some fundamental revolutions in human history becoming human, forming civilizations, creating industry. Um, but this is a revolution because for the first time ever in history, every single person on the planet is connected one-to-one, -one, person to person, directly in real time, globally. And that is transformational, to have seven billion people communicating through the network, or able to communicate through the network nonstop is transformational. We've never had that connectivity before. And each time we go through a revolution, for example, the Industrial Revolution invented banking, we invent a new way of doing trade, value exchange, and commerce, which is why blockchain is a transformational technology, because it will be the foundation of the next generation of how we transact value and enable commerce through the digital network. And it's the reason why, when we go through a digital revolution, every single day there's a headline that almost stuns you about how rapidly things are changing. Um, a headline that struck me the other day is transformational, is the idea that we will colonize Mars by the year 2040. It sounds completely ridiculous, and yet an awful lot of science fiction is becoming science fact. If you look at the new, and this was one that was just at lunchtime that I saw, if you look at the new spacesuits that NASA is giving to their astronauts, they look exactly like the spacesuits in the film Space 2001, A Space Odyssey. Yeah, it's amazing how quickly science fiction becomes science fact, and it's because we are digitalizing our planet at a rapid, rapid rate. Okay. So I was talking with some people in governance, risk, and compliance the other day in a university in Ireland, and they put this slide up, and I thought, well, again, it shows that we are still a long way away from our digitalization revolution footpath, because we talked about the semantic web 10 years ago, and that was before anyone had even thought about distributed ledger technology and blockchain and smart contracts. So now we've got those built into this network. What we're really building is this amazing uh, analytical engine based on data that's surrounding us contextually and um, cognitively nonstop all day long. But that's still a long way away. You know, we're not there yet. And in fact, when we look at blockchain, it's going to take a long time before this technology really hits the mainstream user. Because right now, it's still in an experimentation research phase, proof of concept. Some of that is moving out of the labs, but it's very slow. But it will get quicker. And when we look at digitalization overall, we can see it's only just really kicking in. Because all of the companies until last year that were in the uh, Dow Jones and Fortune 500 were typically industrial era companies.